Oh, hello, girls. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Flakau. <laughs> Flakau is in Austria, just for the people that don't know. And look oh, at yes. that scenery. <laughs> and, it, and it's Austria, it's not Australia. <laughs> not, no, no kangaroos, just horses. <laughs> <laughs> that would be somewhere. Where is Flakau? I can't find it in Australia. Which airport? No, no, no. Fly to... Austria, Vienna, or something. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I was just chatting with these girls, and it looks so amazing. So I thought, hey, let's have a little video, because we have decided to have a conscious horse, conscious rider class in Austria, Flachau. Even if you can't pronounce it, it's beautiful there. <laughs> and it's in August, the 20th to 23rd of August. We get to meet you guys, Elizabeth and Mariella and Karen and a lot of other people. <laughs> and now your sign sound is off. I can't hear you guys. Oh, it's sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> the two we, we just told you I'm Mariella and that's Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> and that's illusion. Yes, that's illusion. Uh, and then we have here Finny. Finny, hi Finny. Finny is so well since the last uh, class in August we had really? last, last year. Yes. Aww. She she's um yes, she's a horse again. <laughs> that sounds funny, but it's 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 true. She's she has uh energy and power and um I don't know how to say, you know, she has more weight because yeah. she was a little bit too thin and yeah. It's nice to hear. Yeah. I'm very happy to hear that. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. I understand that. So I was for everybody that doesn't know. I was there last summer, and I got invited to come again. And Elizabeth has a riding school, so maybe you get to ride there if you want to. Um, third generation riding school uh, <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, very, very traditional. <laughs> you get to the heart of Austria family traditions um we're we're really outside in a little smaller town city town town but it's very well known for um ski resort right yes and so winter. we have beautiful mountains everywhere yeah. around us and it a is. lot of lakes i can say just drinking the water there was amazing it's very oh, yeah. good i was like wow i love that it's really in the heart of austria i like i i really love the nature and the animals and also the energy of i know having the mountains around you is like really really cool i like that a lot um so i was very happy to there and you have so many horses and that's one of the things like they're very of course they're riding schools so they a lot of them are well trained and very well behaved and others are they're all different so i loved it because when we did some exercises in class you get go pick your horse kind of thing because there were so many yes, yes. <laughs> which one do you want Lisa? <laughs> uh that one in the corner <laughs> i think i should have all names or numbers the next one i need this one and this one <laughs> today i want princess and diva <laughs> <laughs> we have a menu for you today. <laughs> <laughs> for the main course, you can choose between two horses. <laughs> no, we're not going to eat them. <laughs> yes, we don't eat them. No, of course. <laughs> you can have some other Austrian fruit food. Um, they're, it's delicious. Sometimes very heavy, but it's very good. Um, but <laughs> no, it's not, not heavy. heavy. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Yes. You can get a salad. It's not heavy. No, it's true. <laughs> Everything else. <laughs> Sometimes I grew up in Germany. But... <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> well, I grew up in Germany and I keep on forgetting it. So now I'm living in Sweden. But every time I come to Germany or Austria, I'm like, the portions are like so huge. You're like, is it for one person or for the whole family? And they keep on just eating it. And I'm like, how do you do this? Yeah, that's it's true. A, it's a lot of food. I always yeah. eat that for dinner and then I pick up the rest for lunch on the following day. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I, But I love it. It's really, really fun. So I'm, I'm grateful to come to this amazing 
area. Um, I love the nature where you have it there, but I also really, really like your horses. I was very grateful for being invited last time. And when I met your horses, Elizabeth, I came in there and I was like, they all knew I was coming. And that was something really, you said that, but I was like, wow, you all know. And I was like, we're starting now. And they're like, mm -hmm. where I've been waiting long. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I love how animals show you that they have so much more they want to contribute with. Uh, your horses are still like really getting a job. So they are, they are not bored, bored. I, I see so many bored horses and I, and I see a lot of people thinking that the best thing for a horse is if they're out on a field eating, that's what they want. That's what they are happiest. I'm like, oh, yes. have you asked your horse? Yes, they want we, to eat we like have that. A lot, we have a lot of dead people in Austria. <laughs> But it, it, this class will change it. So just that you know, it <laughs> it will change everything. Yes, because then you will communicate with your horse and not just with yes. your horse. <laughs> with everything what? around you. Yeah, it's amazing. With every person around you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's true. You will understand the Austrian people better after the class. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! But we do, we do. Just back, if you haven't heard about the conscious horse, conscious rider, it has nothing to do that you're a rider. You don't have to have ever had anything to do with a horse. Uh, I in my classes, I usually have fifty percent that half of the class know something of horses, or I have riding teachers. I've had that several times. On my first class, I had a riding teacher. I'm like, really? <laughs> my first class I'm like oh yeah and then I have half of the class that don't know so much or even afraid of horses so now the horses are really coming up into our class or in our camera they usually and, do yes, and we and we don't just have horses we also have dogs you know yes so you do you have a lot of animals here yeah <laughs> rabbits and uh, cow cats <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have a goat yes. you have a very charming goat Yes, the goat. The goat is the boss of the stable. Yeah. <laughs> Blackie. He always has to check who is coming in. <laughs> oh yeah, and he flirts with you. This is really funny. You should see some of my photos with him. I did a lot of selfies with him. <laughs> Finny. <laughs> Finny is definitely into the class and inviting you guys to come to Austria. She, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you, you really need to come. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't have to talk German or Austrian at all. Um, we'll take care of that when you're there. Uh, these two ladies also will help you if you need anything from booking a uh, room or hotel. You can stay at the next to the stable. Elizabeth has done like a B and B. Uh, the most amazing breakfast next door. It's like heaven. Uh, it's heaven on earth. It's really really good. <laughs> we adore it. It's really good. So. That's one of the things I really like with this class. It's all very easy to be there. You can live next to the horses and say goodnight to them. Hey, yes, we will have you in class too. Uh, <laughs> they just want to sit on us in front they're, of the camera, closer they're and not, closer. <laughs> they're not lap horses. I think they, I hope they got that, but you never know. <laughs> That would be hilarious. I'm going to sit next or on you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah. So this is the body. I, I love to talk. Like, <laughs> these horses are hilarious. <laughs> so I was like, well, just come to the class. Don't mind what conscious horse country rider is. The horses just want you there to have fun with you. Uh, you'll get more aware. You'll know how to communicate with animals, energy, and people. One of the things most people say after the class they have easier with people. They yes. have easier <laughs> being around people and talking to people. I'm like, yeah, because when we get that space with animals, we have so much more ease with people too, but it's very interesting. I, I love it. I love... Um, yes, and, and, you, and you learn tools with animals or from animals, but you can use these tools every day <laughs> in every single situation. And that's great. <laughs> that's really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We, if you know access consciousness, that's, uh, we're using a lot of those tools in action with the horses. So they be become part of your life. So you know how to use them totally in your life. That's one thing I got so aware. Gary Douglas, the founder of this class, he keeps on saying every facilitator should attend one of these classes. So they know the tools in action. 
because here you can't pretend to know them. You either are with, you are them in the moment with a horse or they'll show you you're not. <laughs> That's great. It's very simple. Oh, if, you're, if you check out from your life, they'll tell you. If you're yes. present, they'll show you. Uh, and that's like for some, sometimes I, 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 people don't can't really relate when I say you're checked out. But when you're with the horse, you'll get the energy and you'll get the nuances when you're really uh, that is it. Ah, oh, that's it. Without judgment, without anybody telling you that's right you or that's wrong. Immediately. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you? people they are always always saying and telling stories. No, not the horses and the animals. <laughs> it's very clearly on point now. <laughs> that is true. Take it or and, leave it. <laughs> and, but I must say they also have a lot of patience. Of course. Yeah. That's one thing. I, I th They are really willing to choose for you to choose now. And they will stick with you until you choose it. And that's something I'm... It's so refreshing and nurturing. <laughs> Please don't poop on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. Because when they have gold in it, you know, like a gold horse, <laughs> we take it. <laughs> So guys, I'm just saying that because we also have a class um, before the English Conscious Horse Conscious Rider class and it's about money and horses. <laughs> and that's why I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so there's a saying that you poop out money from the ass. Um, but I don't know if you can translate that one, but it's, it's funny. <laughs> so if you see, you know, the, where the shit goes out, just gold, gold, gold coins coming out. I mean, I, I don't think we'll say no to that. Um, and well, what if they truly are that gift, um, in our lives? <laughs> You're playing around. <laughs> nice view. Hello. Hi. <laughs> she just wants to catch the moment they poo. I get it. I'm getting it. <laughs> yes, I guess. Ah, yes, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um but we'll have fun so if you have any questions about austria or flachau and we're gonna teach you how to say that properly when in when when we're in austria and you'll learn some other austrian words i'm sure i always yes, forget we will. <laughs> we will teach you the horses will teach you everyone will teach you <laughs> you'll, you'll learn how to drink real Austrian beer or whatever else there is on these <laughs> top mountains. <laughs> you get to try food you never knew existed. <laughs> and we have a lot of very good wine. So Austria has a lot yes, of you do. That is so true. Um, I, I really like Austrian wine, by the way. And I... <laughs> I had one a uh, couple of glasses a couple of days ago from Austria. I always take one or two bottles home every time I'm in Austria. <laughs> <laughs> and if I come with a car, I might fill my car a little bit more than, well, let's see how I, if I fly to Austria or I drive through Europe. That can also happen, Try, flying through, uh, driving through Europe and coming to Austria. And that's going to be fun. So I, I'm excited to have this class. It's in English. Uh, I, we know that some Austrian people will be showing up too. Uh, oh, how many horses do you now have, Elizabeth? Is it 17? Eight, 18. 18. Yes. yes. So you, we have enough to choose. Yeah, of course. Of course. And it, I love it because we also have very small horses. So the pony, no. What do you say? Yeah. Miniature horses? <laughs> <don't know>. yes. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a mini pony. <laughs> mini pony. So and, his really... name, and his name is Whiskey. <laughs> he is amazing. <laughs> so That's, cute. That is true. So we have all sizes. This is also the really great thing. But the funny part, most people that are really afraid, I do this, afraid of horses, they usually go on up on the they, bigger horses. They go this one. <laughs> They get the biggest ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, but I, I have so far not seen somebody uh, keeping being afraid of horses after class. The horses invite you to let go of whatever that is. And I see that is so beautiful because they show you, if you're willing to, they'll show you a different world uh, where you're totally connected to them. And for me, it's also being connected to them is also being connected to the world, to the earth, to the nature, and in another way, and also to animals. And we are on this planet. 
So why would we not be connected to them fully? Yes, that's great. And I, I think they show you just the communication without words. And it's so amazing just to be with them, as you said, in the, in the nature. And also um, we had last year by the class, we had a rainy day. And we were out there in the rain on the horses for um, yeah, some exercises. And it was so amazing because the rain was, it was like it was gone because we were like one with the horses. And that was amazing to see also the children. Uh, one boy, it was, I don't know, he was four years, I four think. years, something yeah. like that. He, sleep, uh, he fell asleep on the horse. That was so yeah. amazing. And when he was awake again, then he was like, Oh, now, now I'm fine. <laughs> that's, that's so great. Yeah, good point. Also, kids can come too. So if you have kids and you want to bring them and they, please ask them if they want to be there. That's the only thing that's really good if they choose it. Um, but this guy, he was very intense and it was really cool to see him just land in himself and just be more relaxed. I mean, he was intense still, but in a different way afterwards. And that was beautiful to see it's really cool yeah but well, also uh, on the following days he, he was um like you know first he was wild and loud and then he he was so connected with the horses also in the stable and outside he was like a adult you know he, he comes not like a boy anymore not a little child he was it was like he was grown up in two days <laughs> because it was so cool he was like oh Hi, horse. Now I'm coming. <laughs> and it was so great. That was amazing to see, I must say. One other class I had, not yours, because we had one in Spain where all the kids were like, you know, around 9, 10, 11. So they all love their iPod. Like, they <laughs> absolutely love their iPod. The funny part is the iPod was never there during the class. <laughs> and the parents had hardly ever seen that. <laughs> you know, so many hours without iPod. But it was really cool to see them because they, like, it's a horse, it's alive, and they wanted to be there. That was number one. But it was really cool to see because they didn't get bored. Uh, they were present. Sometimes they had to sit for a while and wait. But it was really cool. And we tried to get them engaged and be part of it as well. But it was really cool to see that because kids sometimes are a little bit, could you say, disconnected from this world? They're in the, uh, I don't know, internet world. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what world to say, but it's amazing to see kids being there. I love it. I love having kids around in the class. Um, it's not going to be a kindergarten, so we're not taking care of them. <laughs> but they are definitely, they're definitely uh, welcome to come and join the class with the parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So 28th, 20th to 23rd of August. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Three, Thanks three for coming. And a days experience and adventure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> adventure in Austria, really full nature, Austrian nature with Aust Austrian ladies and me, Swedish. But yeah, I'm an honorary guest in Austria. Yes, and we're <laughs> yes. so happy to meet you one day in person. Because yes. that would be great. <laughs> and Flacho is really, really beautiful. So if you want, you can Google it. And we also will um, post pictures in the uh, event that you will see it. So you can do a lot of great things. And we had it last year also that the um, husbands are coming uh, with oh, the, yeah. But they uh, didn't they join. The, yeah, they didn't yeah. join the class. They make holidays. They made holidays. So. Yeah, you have a lot of opportunities. Yeah, they had a lot of good time. One hour far from Salzburg, so you can also fly to Salzburg, and um, so it's one hour yes. drive to come here. And we you also can, can pick, pick you, up. you up, so we have a lot of services for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll arrange or contribute as much as we can uh, for all of that, and it's very easy to get there. It's very, there's so many ways of getting there. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, they will also, if you have, you need any ideas what to do there, they'll know, uh, and get some extra days there. It's really beautiful nature. And yes, you're, you can bring your husband or wife, depending who's coming to the class and they'll have a great time without you and enjoy the evenings or lunches with you. So there's a lot of possibilities and they're also welcome. If we make dinner together, all together, they're so welcome to join as well. So we're, we're just living and having fun together. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 
Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> me, me neither. Thank you so much. <laughs> so great. See you very soon. Yes. Love, Love you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.